Today, guys, I'm going to show you how to make this. But also, before you go, I'm going to show you how to make this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Survival Let's Play. This is episode 9. We finally made it to episode 9. Um, so, yeah, we're going to be doing something pretty cool soon-ish. We're going to start fighting um, some bosses and stuff. We might take on the end dragon first. Not sure, but that looks like something we want to do. Uh, you guys probably see that structure over there, but we'll get to that in just a moment. First things first, I want to show you guys... Uh, what we've done so you guys didn't get to see this this prison it's a prison i'm gonna call it a prison you know what it's supposed to be a village or trading hall but it's a prison but guys check it out we have a ton of guys so i have what i have the enchantment so far i got sharpness fortune three smite unbreaking three fortune three do i got fortune three twice oh no 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 this is where they actually sleep got it got it got it then i got the farmer guy over there this guy will do, what trade will he do? Sometimes it's weird, looting three. And this guy will do fire protection four. And this guy will do feather falling. I believe this is my silk touch. Eventually when I get name tags, it will be a lot easier to remember these guys. Yep, silk touch. And then you will do power four. So if I want to do a bow, I might switch that one out. I told you guys you can name this guy. You still can name this guy. Uh, if you want, um, but I just made him a librarian for now. He has thorns three, but he can be switched out easily. And then this guy is, I'm still working with him, fortune three again. So I'm going to switch that guy out and see if I can get mending. I still haven't been able to get mending yet. And everyone has a sale yet. The people that are locked in are pretty much uh, the people that I want for their enchantments. All right, so what are we doing? Today is all about farms. Yes, you got it. Farms, farms, farms. Sorry if you can hear guys hear my dog. It's going to be farms, 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 farms. So as you guys can see, I already created a sugar cane farm. This is of my own design. I kind of pulled from a lot of other people's builds and stuff like that and created. It. It's not, as you can see, it's not completely lossless. So you will lose a couple pieces. I came over here early and two pieces were left off over here. And then inside of it, it's been producing. It's got 12 pieces. I mean, it's not the fastest thing in the world. It's not the most efficient, but you can scale this out. All you got to do is put a sign on each side. But what I'm going to do is put one on the front and one on the back. So let me show you guys exactly what you need. So in my inventory, I have two chests. You can do it with one. I have 16 pistons, 16 observers, some redstone. Um, you don't need as much as I have. Uh, a stack of blocks, probably a stack of glass panes, a water bucket, two would probably be better, and a hopper. And then you just come up here. So since I'm gonna build this next to each other, I don't want the pistons to all fire at the same time. I'm gonna start back here like this laying out a foundation i don't remember exactly how many this is i think it's 17 yeah because it's eight on each side so it's 17 you start like that you put those down and then from there i come in i'm, I'm actually cheating and coming in front um you're gonna put down it looks like a row of pistons facing in so i believe the pistons face in towards you like this yeah that's right yeah that's right that's right that's right pistons face in on towards you and then up, you got to take the middle one out. I'm sorry about my dog, guys. Hold on one sec. Sorry about that, guys. But I don't know what it is when I start to record. My dog always <laughs> wants my attention. But anyway, uh, like I was saying, yeah. So the middle one, you want to break. Uh, it's the ninth block. So let me start over and start. I want to make sure because some of my bills, I go too fast. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then this middle block is just going to be empty like that. Uh, I'm cheating because I'm looking in the back like that and you do eight more like this and then you place this block here uh, what I also do is come back behind here and then put in another row of blocks so I can reach it and then eventually redstone is going to be back here anyway I mean you don't necessarily need these blocks but it just helps me place it and um I know this isn't the prettiest thing in the world but you know what if you're going for pretty you might want to build another I guess um Trigger came for him. But this one is good. It works and it doesn't require. Yep, skip the middle one. Because that's how we're going to uh, get everything in. Like that. And you place eight on that side, eight on that side, just like that. Then I'm just going to cheat again, come to the middle. So then you come out and dig out the first row right here. Because the reason why you do this is because this is how water travels. Whoa, went, fell down in there. Didn't want to do that. And then you're going to replace. Wait a minute. Well, I mean, technically you could have left it there, but I didn't want to leave it there. Then you're going to replace that row with sand. Oh, I forgot the sand. Shoot. Uh, yeah, guys. Um, yeah, you need sand. Well, you don't necessarily need sand, but if you want it to look uniform or whatever, you can use sand. So, yeah, you need sev 17. 
Yeah, 17 blocks of sand. I always forget something. I'll probably put it up when I'm editing this video uh, that I forgot to add sand. I, I even practiced before and I still forgot. My gosh. Anyway, it happens sometimes. So yeah, you just put the sand here and this is where the sugar cane is going to finally rest. And then you dig out this row one more time. So the water in front will allow the sugar cane to grow. And it will also serve as, I need to put another torch right here. Honestly, because it gets too dark and mobs will spawn and they will blow me up and that's not good. So yeah, so from there you put in one bucket of water. And remember I told you you could use two. So water will flow eight blocks. It will come down and it will stop in this middle one right there. In that middle section, you're going to dig this out like this. You're going to place your chest. I'm only going to use one because, I mean, honestly, I mean, you'll be back to check it, but you can put a double chest if you want. You put the chest there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I like it to face this way. So let me um, do it that way. Place your chest right there. And then you come back and you kind of like crouch place the hopper into it. And as you guys can see, what will happen is anything that falls down into here, let me just place it, will fall into that chest and get collected. So at this point, technically, I could plant the sugar cane, but I need one more bucket of water. So let me go grab a bucket of water real quick. At this point, we're almost done. We just got to put a couple more blocks in and make sure the sugar cane doesn't go all over the place. This, this, it, I wouldn't even say it's that expensive because you don't have to use any hopper mine cards. You don't have to use anything. You use one piece of iron for each one of the pistons. And that's pretty much it. I like this, this way of doing it because it just, I don't know. It just, it just works. And then I'm just going to steal some of this sugar cane right here. Um, I should have, I don't have enough, but it's fine. Right there. And don't forget to skip the one in the middle, just like that. I'll come back in later and fill that in, but you would fill that in to make it work. And then I put two blocks here like that to keep everything in and then two blocks here. But first I'm going to come, oh no, actually I can, I can do that later. Um, you're going to come back in here. I actually should have went one more block forward, but honestly, it doesn't matter. If it fires, it fires. I was trying to prevent um, the blocks from firing. I put one there, too, to make it uniform. But now, since I didn't put a space in between, when one of these fires, they're all going to fire. But honestly, it doesn't matter. If it grows, it grows. There we go. So when one of these fires on either side is going to hit the other one, but... It, it, like I said, it doesn't really, really matter. So that's pretty much all the redstone you got to do. It's not, it's not really involved. The only thing else you have to do is come back around here, right? And then just add in your glass panes. That's it. And then once you fill this all the, all the way in, you are done with this build. And you can put the glass pane right on top of the chest. It does not affect it at all. So I'm not going to put this last glass pane in. On, on these roads right here, I'm not going to do that because I need to go in and finish up the sugar cane. And that's it, guys. That's the build. When the, when the uh, sugar cane is done, it will come into here and then you're, you're good to go. That's it. All right. On to the next farm. The next one we will be making will be a automatic wheat farm um, or a crop farm, whatever you want. But I want to make an automatic, automatic wheat farm or automatic crop farm so I can trade with that farmer villager over there. And I'm thinking about doing a wheat farm because I can use the seeds for compost. All right, see you guys in a sec. All right, guys, so the next thing we're going to make is a crop farm, like I said. So to do that, I got to get rid of all of this. Um, yep, 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 yep. Got to get rid of all of this. And and the good thing is this is going to be a 9x9, nine nine, and I've made this a 9x9 nine nine already. So I'm going to get rid of all this, and then I'm going to unfortunately have to dig down two so i gotta get rid of that i'm gonna dig down two on the bottom layer is going to be where uh rails go and on the top layer i'm going to replace this soil so yeah so let me get rid of this all but down by two and i'll be back in a sec all right now that you have that you find the corner of your form so you go line this corner up with this corner and you put a hopper into it on that corner facing out into a chest make a double chest and then put another hopper this way then what you want to do is take out this block and then put a redstone comparator there. And then you put a block there. Then you want to grab out your redstone torch. You want to place it up against this block here. 
and then you put another block here and then you turn around and place your repeater here and then another block here okay now when you do that all that does is it loops this signal back around when there's stuff in the hopper it will let the chest know and the uh, mine cart will stop and it will unload there so the next thing you need to do is just put a solid block here so it will stop it then put a power rail here a regular rail here and then you just come all the way around and you just loop this around at the ends put regular ra rail so it will come back around and then right here again you're gonna loop this back around if this links up like that just break it up oh, sorry gotta break that one sometimes that happens I just I knew that was gonna happen but I just want to show you guys and loop it like that then when you come back just make sure you put that back right there uh, throughout the center of this you what you're gonna do is you're gonna break these blocks right here and then you're just gonna take redstone I'm not using my shovel because I need to go put mending on that shovel before it breaks and you're just gonna take redstone like this and you're gonna put it all the way through the center and it's gonna power the rails all the way well let me start with the end first because these things like to connect on you and it's going to power these rails all the way through so i'm going to fill this whole nine by nine in and i'll bring you guys back in okay now that that's done you guys can see how that's powered all i did is oh i missed one right here there we go uh, all i did was put a block there that that the mine cart hopper hopper mine cart will hit and travel back all we need to do now is just to see if it actually works so you should place this here and then as you can see it does work and it should hit the end and come back and it does so next thing you need to do is fill up the top of this with dirt and you just fill this back in so I will fill this in all right so now we're almost done so what you have to do after you find the center is you have to take a half slab and make sure you place it on the bottom and what we're gonna do is we're gonna water log it so take your water bucket place it on top this is where your composter will be from there you can then take uh, a hoe and I didn't even bring my hoe so you would take a hoe and then you will hoe all this land and then from there um, you will put a composter on top and then a shroom light to keep this place all nice and neat and then finally when you're done you will take uh, a block to keep this uh, villager that eventually you're gonna bring in here safe so I will just use glass because I want to be able to see inside of it so I think mine is gonna be so that's gonna be the corner of my farm so the glass will come like this because that's gonna be the inside of my farm and yes and all of this will be right here I don't need that corner block and I'm just gonna outline this don't need you anymore with glass so I can see all inside my farm then from there the final thing you will have to do is grab a villager luckily we have our own makeshift village and then we will be able to bring the villager in I'm just gonna put this block here so I'll know where my chest is there we go and that will basically outline my farm and I'll be able to get to my chest when I need to I'll just dig a little hole here so um yeah so i'm gonna go try to bring a villager inside of this farm after i get it hold we're almost there guys i got my villager in a boat okay he looks like he already converted to a cleric somehow don't know how that was possible but uh yeah looks like he used my enchanting table no potion brewing stand and convert it but hopefully once we get him in here he will switch it back Aww. all right as you guys can see i've already hold all that ground over there so we just need to get this guy in here and start the planting process all right here we go um, for now i'm just going to leave this guy in the boat until i get all of this glass pieces done but i wanted to show you guys how you can transport a villager so unfortunately i got to break that gonna put that there maybe he'll switch back i'm not sure we're trying to trying to do it on camera but nope not gonna happen so then i was crouch and then i place a shroom light over there and that will light up this area inside all right next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant half of this right and then I'm gonna want him to plant some of it to get him started and whatever he's connected to I will go break and it doesn't matter that this part right here is 
a solid block. I mean, it still works. I threw some stuff down on the ground and it, it absolutely picked it up. So I'm not worried about that. So let me get this stuff planted and fill in the rest of this with uh, glass blocks. And then we will see if it actually works. Like if he takes the profession and turns into a farmer, then we're good to go. I might have to... Will you link with it? You want to try? You know, I might have to just let him do his thing and go over and touch it. Uh, I think that's what I might have to do. So what I'm going to do is block this off, get up top first, then break the boat. Wait, can I can I break the boat? I see how the game wants to do me today. This is what we're going to do. We're going to walk out there closer to him and see if we can crouch down and break the boat. You know what? I'm just going to break this piece of glass. I'm not going to stress myself out. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this. There we go. He shouldn't be able to get out. Ah, there we go, guys. I just had to go bust my smoker. And then he finally turned into a farming villager. And everything is working. I definitely need to hold this little block right here, though. Um, I had a mod fall in. Yep, yeah, see, there he goes. He works. He does what he's supposed to do now. Now when all this grows and his inventory is full, I won't have to worry about it again. There we go. Sweet, sweet. And that is it complete. I'm not sure why the minecart isn't picking up that dirt. That's strange. But you know, if we have a little bit of loss, I'm not overly concerned about it. I w do want to throw this into this guy's inventory. He's trying to throw stuff in. Does that go over? No, it doesn't go over. Maybe if I jump. Yeah, take all this. Take all this guy. Take all that. There you go. Not sure how much of that went over, but good enough. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, that's it.